group and uh, understand. We, you know, we used to used to have these conversations and et cetera. Julian was has always been involved. You know, even when he was uh, uh, working with the uh, NAACP in Washington, et cetera. More than likely, more than likely, he was uh, uh, in constant contact with. Uh, uh, the vote education, uh, uh, I mean, you well, are not on the vote, but, but the ACLU, you know, and, and, the, and the project with uh, Mari Thies and, and, and um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me and ask say, you this. Sure. What's something that stands out in your memory about Julian that people may not know? Oh, <laughs> well, um, well, Julian, uh, uh, Julian, one of the things, Julian had a, um, he had a sense of humor that was uh he had a he had a sense of humor that that was uh uh different uh, uh somewhat uh different from a lot of other folks he had a sense of humor but he was also a poet and and he and, and Anna, he was a very analytical but but he also could play the dozen you know he could play the dozen he just sa da 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 i mean early in the morning you know, like in other words, we would meet at Pascal sometime, and we would, you know, like uh, personally speaking, and uh, and I would wonder, you know, this is when he was in the legislature or whatever, and I would say, hey, so and so and so, what about this? What about that? We'll be talking about national, international events that that prevailed as a headline or whatever. What have you heard? This and that and other, and and Julian, have you heard about this one? Da, 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 da. And he was, you know, he was early in the morning. He would be, <laughs> be want, want to, you know, carry on, you know, like joking and this and that and the other. He was extraordinary good with that. But he was also, uh, uh, he was also concerned about about uh, the lease of D. He was definitely concerned about the lease of D. For for an example, was once upon a time, Frank Holloway and myself uh, uh, helped him. You know, he did a fundraiser for, uh, 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 and brought in Arthur Ashe at uh, Kennedy uh, uh, Middle School. Okay, they had, a, they had a, uh, an exhibition, I should say, of Arthur Ashe, and um, anyway, later on that day, we was at his home. And uh, well, Frank and I was outside, you know, we was out and making sure everything was okay and et cetera. And uh, so we we were in Dashik during the time, you know, we were in Dashik and this and that and other. And some of the folks, they came down and uh, they looked at us like, uh, wait a minute, this Arthur Ash and this Junior Bond, and these, you know, like Sonny and Frank is out here with Don Chicken Six, that other. And this one woman, I, I'm not getting no lines. This one woman had on, a, had on a gold silk dress, gold silk dress, uh, and uh, there was a hundred degrees, 90 plus degrees, and a, uh, what to call it, mink stole on the shoulder, this and that, and that for real. And when, and when we went on the inside, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, I just, after I observed that, and I was checking out Julian, what he had on, he had on some, it was summer, but he had on some faded corduroy pants. Faded corduroy pants, and you know something that I would wear around the house. He was at home in the basement, this and that and other, and we was talking about about uh, um, we were talking about um, the Virgin Island. I have a son and a, 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 a brother-in-law that's in the Virgin Island. You know, your medical doctor did that and other. A big home all over on, on the top of the mountain. You talking about the mountain top? It took him 15 years to get it to the extent that it. Where Junior was going down there, and I was telling him about about the cruise and run. You know, I, I had relatives back and forth down there all the time, uh, uh, but I was always getting them to bring me some of that rum back. You know, uh, it, it was you could drink it without a hangover, but it would make you drunk. This and that and the other. Now, you if you drank more than that, you were gonna be high knocked and stuff, out. right? Yeah. Knocked out. <laughs> I and I, it. I mean, <laughs> little brother, little brothers on the corner. You know, like the partners of mine. I used to give them, you know, uh, give it to them. Yeah, and they said, I don't want that. The last time I drank, this made me drunk, you know. Finish up about sure. Julian. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, well. anyway, Julian, uh, uh, Julian uh, when he went down to the Virgin Island, he brought, he brought the uh, uh, alcohol back. He brought the cruise and run back. He said he was going to do it. In other words, when he ran for office uh, this one time, we was at his office downtown, and uh, 
uh, uh, campaign office, and and here he come with with the so-called temp temptation. Hey, is that? I was like, yeah, you know these guys? <laughs> and they say, yeah, yeah, we know them. But I had just been on stage with them, a brother named Hamilton Bohanna and a brother named David Cloud. Hamilton Bohanna band was, you know, like were playing the background music for, for the show at this old city auditorium. And we had just uh, uh, been together during that time and parted down to the Regency and et cetera. And they said, oh yeah, we know so and so and so and so and so and so and so. But, uh, but yeah, there was a lot of other things. We know there's two or three things I, I, don't, I can't, can't mention, you know, because I know he was, he was uh, uh, can you shut that for a minute? Because I say it was because I'm not, I don't want you to.